All right, what is up, my brothers from another mother? I've uh, I've had quite a few of these messages come to me about um, making really bad choices with women and dating and stuff from all age groups, and you know how do you test for that? And I'll give you I'll, I'll give you some useful tests that you know you, you can use. I uh, just finished up at the gym, got to get going for the day, got the beard all oiled up. By the way, if you guys have asked me, what do you put in the beard? It's just uh, coconut oil. That's it. Just virgin coconut oil, right up your hand. You're done. Um, back in the day when I was a kid, there was a really good movie, uh, called, I think it was called Bronx Tale. And there was a scene in it that, where they talked about the door lock test. And the door lock test was simply, um, you know, back in the day we didn't have the key fobs. I don't even know where it is. I think it's in my gym bag. Um, you know, you'd have a key and you put it in the door, you unlock it and you know, your girlfriend would get in or your date would get in. Um, well, we don't have that anymore, so you can't use that test, but basically, you know, you'd walk up the door, unlock the, uh, the door, let her in, you walk around the back and you just kind of look in and see if she would reach over and unlock your door. And, you know, the concept or, or the scene in that movie, you know, it was kind of like an Italian ga um, gangster movie was, uh, you know, if she doesn't reach over and open the door, then she goes, he goes, uh, she's a selfish broad. You got to dump her. Right. So that doesn't exist anymore. I did use that um, in my younger days when I did have to unlock the door and it, it actually worked. It was fairly effective. So there's a few things that you can do now to kind of test chicks, to ch test women, you know, to help you guys. Uh, identify the good ones from the bad ones because um, you know guys are still making really bad choices and you know I make bad choices so you, you don't have to so let me share the these three tips with you today first one um, this is the this is the coffee test I, I guess we'll we'll call it uh, you know you're out with your date and uh, you're going back to wherever you're going just pause for a moment and go you know what I'd love to grab a coffee from Timmy's or Starbucks or wherever you live in the world you know here in Canada Tim you know Tim Hortons is probably the more popular one um, forgot my wallet at home. Can you spot me on this one? And see what she does. Uh, a good woman would be happy to do that. I mean, obviously, if, if you've been dating, you've probably thrown some bucks at her here and there, uh, you know, going out for a movie or dinner or something like that. Uh, so, for, so for her to, you know, brush off the dust on her purse and open it up and crack open a buck fifty shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, if uh, she fails that test, you want to deep six or just get rid of her. Um, she's really just in it for herself. I have a really good friend that uh, actually tested his ex-wife with that. She failed miserably. He still married her and he still swears to the day if he would have, uh, you know, ditched her at that time, it would have been a lot easier for him. The second test. The second test is simply the no. Um, guys are dumb. Like we just try to please or say yes all the time. We'll go watch the dumb romantic comedy or go to the art gallery if we're not interested in art. You know, I'm a car guy. You guys know that's, you know, those of you that have watched my channel for a while that I started up entrepreneurs and cars because I like hanging out with entrepreneurs and cars. And, you know, those are the sorts of events and things that I like to, you know, place myself in. I like to be in that room to go to the cars and coffees in the summertime. Um, you know, go to the entrepreneurial events and things like that. So if a woman would, were to say to me, you know, I would like to go to this art gallery and just be like, no, I'm, I'm just not interested. I have no interest in, in art or whatever. And if she responds angrily or tries to shame you, tries to use shaming tactics, you know, you can take a look at the triggered video that I did a couple of weeks ago so you can get a better idea of the shaming tactics. You know, if you're a real man, you would go with me or some shit like that. Um, you want a deep six or you just want to get rid of her. She's, she's going to be a royal pain in the ass. She's going to try to shame you or convince you to do things that you're not interested in. And to be honest with you guys, you know, we live in a world of, you know, balance and, you know, feminism has come along and they want equality. Well, you know, if she wants to go watch, uh, some, you know, romantic comedy or go to an art gallery, let her do it by herself or with her girlfriends or with her mom or something like that. If it's not, not something of interest to you, just say no. And don't be a dick about it. Just, you know, just let them know. It's just not something that's of interest to me. You know, there's other things I could be doing with my time. Um, another, another really good example that I could use from my own experience. Um, I was asked to attend a dinner party with, um, some people that I had met before that I knew that were just, um, how can I put it? You know, you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. So if you spend time in rooms with people that are shitty and are going to lower your average and negative and really drain you like energy vampires, it's just, it's just a bad choice. It's a bad decision. Uh, and I said no to it and she freaked out. She lost her mind. She was really upset. You know, you shouldn't judge people and all this sort of stuff. And she started using shaming tactics. Well, I should have known at that point because there's a lot of red flags with that woman that I was dating, but um, you know, things like that you can use to test them. So it's basically the no test. And the third and last test that you can use is basically the prenup test. And this will basically 
demonstrate to you in a very clear and concise fashion uh, if this woman is into you for you or if she's into you because of hypergamy. Now, all women are hypergamous. I gotta get going, I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, all women are reasonably hypergamous and they're gonna look to benefit their scenario or to spend time with somebody that's gonna up their average, you know? It's funny, because they don't want us to say no to dinner events, spending time with people that are <laughs> gonna lower your average or, or drain you, but, uh, you know, they're always looking to marry up economically and make sure they find somebody that's in a better boat than they are. Um, so the way that you bring this one up, you're not gonna say, hey, you know, I need you to sign a prenup if we're ever gonna settle down or a cohabitation agreement if we're ever gonna live together. Just bring it up in casual conversation. You know, a friend of mine was uh, having a conversation, uh, you, you know, with their partner and they brought up the idea of a, a prenup. You know, you can mention it was a guy or a girl, whatever, you know, combination of that you wanna use. Uh, you know, they brought up the idea of a, a, a prenup and they had that conversation and, uh, you know, just kind of like throw it off to her. You know, what are your thoughts on that? And uh, again, you know, I, I actually had this conversation with a woman that I was dating for about uh, six or seven months. And when I, when I had, actually, I didn't mention it, she brought it up. She said that one of her friends um, was presented with the idea of a cohabitation agreement because she, wa she was pushing to live in. You know, she was, she was down here, he was up here, he was fairly, fairly well off and she wanted to move into his life. And, um, you know, I said, well, that's, you know, that's pretty much par for the course at this stage. You know, if you're divorced, because I was divorced at the time, um, and you've got a child, you want to make sure that your wealth transfers to your child and, you know, isn't distributed places like, you know, other people's children that aren't yours if things don't work out. And she got very upset, uh, exceptionally upset. So that was a bad sign. Dumb me. I was sticking with the wrong head. I, you know, I kept dating. But, um, yeah, you know, I could have probably saved myself a lot of time. So there's, there's a few good examples of... I guess how you can shit test women because women are always shit testing men. Um, you know, it, it'll help you filter out the crap ones uh, from the better ones or the ones that are just there for your money or for your resources and aren't particularly interested in you or they want to make you do dumb shit or try to shame you. So I hope that helps. Leave a comment below. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for the audience because I know a lot of you guys read the comments and participate in them. Uh, uh, smash the like button, subscribe, browse the rest of the uh, videos in this playlist, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you guys later. Peace.